Hello there, welcome. Today I'm playing Katsu against a Fi. I'm playing the Katsu list that I recommend for beginners at the moment. And I'm sure you'll get some very good information out of this gameplay. Whenever you start with Katsu, you usually want to put in some chip damage with the Kodachis and then get cards into your graveyard that you need for your combos later. One of those cards is Bonds of Ancestry because getting multiple Bonds in one turn is really strong. And then we keep another Bonds to play later on and also a combat trick in the Ancestral Empowerment which is both quite good. Now a very good playline already would be to pitch the Dishonor to play Descendant Gustway follow up with Bonds of Ancestry. And to play exactly that, I declare no blocks on this is strike attack because it's also just vanilla damage without any on hits. And now, as I've been saying, we play the Sand and Gust Wave. Ideally, it gets to hit. First, we react with the Ancestral Empowerment and draw into another zero cost, ideally an attack action, and then we can discard it to our Katsu trigger. And I actually do a double bounce right here, so let's see. I decides not to block, which is not a bad idea for him. Um, I'm actually not even being greedy here. I don't play Ancestral Empowerment. I make sure I have that zero cost in my hand to discard to Katsu. And what we do now is fetch another Gust Wave. And now we have a Bonds in Arsenal that can banish the Bonds from our graveyard, fetching us another Bonds from our deck. And out of three cards, we essentially send two Gust Waves, two Bonds, and I believe that's it. I don't think we have another target in our graveyard. That still should be about 14 damage from a 3 card hand, which is insanely strong. We're also getting the, the mask trigger here from our opponent. Signaling he has a very good and big hand he wants to keep. Okay. It's another quite okay hand we have here. We want to probably play out the Surging Strike into the Descendant Gust Wave. And ideally we keep a zero cost in hand as well, so that if something of that hits, we get to use our Katsu ability and play another Bonds. We also want to block out the Snatch here, because if that hits, he will give it go again anyways with the Snapdragons, but if that hits, he essentially plays a 5 card hand here. And we should also overblock this by, by 1. Because it's quite likely that if Fai keeps a 5 card hand, he has an Art of War. And he indeed does. Fortunately for us, he's also not playing the Mask of Momentum. So if there's not nothing too threatening coming after this, we're just allowed to keep our complete hand here. And then we can throw the Searching Strike, the Gust Wave, and either 100 wins or if we get a hit actually a bonds and something else nice and that's actually it just vanilla damage we are about equal on HP but we get to keep our hand here Katsu's matchup into Fire is quite good because Katsu doesn't mind blocking and his blocks actually convert quite well into Fire as well. And whenever you do have a good hand and hit him, you have a way higher ceiling than him. 
Also, those smaller hands of Katsu are very threatening to Fai. If he doesn't block at all, even the smaller hands do insane amounts of damage, as we're able to see here, I think. Yeah. And if he does block, his hand becomes way smaller. And with that, his damage output as well. So now already, we played a four card hand and we convert it into what is four from the Surging Strike, five from the Descendant Gust Wave, which is nine, four from Bonds of Ancestry, which is 13, and then we probably just get three after this in the Hand of Ruins. Um, so I think I was on 13, 16 from a four card hand, four per card, That's extremely good value. I could have used the breaking scales here to get the draw for a mask of momentum. But I think keeping those around is more beneficial. And we draw another natural line here. And Fi only gets vanilla damage into us. So what we can do... We could even... Force the Art of War out of our Tunic counter and hope we draw into another blue. Um, but as I've been saying, even the small hands do draw cards out of Fi, so just throwing Surging Strike and Whelming Gust Wave might actually be more efficient here. This way we keep Art of War in hand and can convert a, a worse hand which we might draw later on. Now already getting two cards out of him. And he needs to respect this as well. Nice. So once again, if I won't have a turn. Actually, I might crack the scales here. If we draw a zero cost and he can't prevent it, we get another bonds. Ooh. But Fai realizes that as well. And decides to block differently. But we're sitting comfortably. Tunic up, Art of War up. Only staring down a two card hand. And drawing another natural line here. Now Fai's pretty screwed. In pitching the Gust Wave, you sort of tell him that we have another Gust Wave in hand. Otherwise, you'd rather keep the Gust Wave in hand and pitch the Yellow 100 wins, for example, to have that natural follow-up. But now the play becomes either Art of War on that Surging Strike, putting into 6 and getting the cards to trigger, or keeping it for the Whelming Gust Wave. So we can actually buff that by 2. And it might be the correct play here, because we are not... Uh, we don't need the the one damage more on the on the searching strike, and we don't not need the card draw yet. So if he overblocks by one here, we can punish him by cracking this and cracking the breaking scales and getting the card draw. And with him only having a card and the lynx left, he's basically dead now. <laughs> Although we don't draw the best best of hands here. Yeah, and Fai also recognizes that, so what the, the follow-up on this from our side would have been is draw from Whelming Gust Wave, then discarding a zero cost, probably the sink below two A bonds, and let's say we draw blue, then we can first play our bonds, 
and crack the Bruce Rider boots so come in with four instant let's say another 100 runes for in total nine damage then after that I have the surging strike and the Kodachi come in for in total seven damage even if he isn't that there he lives on maybe two HP and then he's Kodachi lock with us having a full hand again so he has to give us everything if he doesn't just die on the spot so definitely a concede that's understandable here and that's Katsu for you. Very, very simple if it rolls. But um, I'll have a a more, a bit of a different game for you later on this week. So stay tuned and I'll see you then.